All right, I have an article here that uh, I did already touch on this article on the blog here at uh, remedyguy.org, but I uh, was holding off on the video because I wanted to uh, wait to see what uh, the discussion was between Trump and the Pope. I figured that's going to have to be a whole different video all on its own because uh, there is a strong possibility that they might be working towards pushing all the false prophecies that the Jesuits set up long ago, like, uh, you know, the secret rapture of the seven-year trib and stuff like that, so as to herald the arrival of Satan on earth acting like Jesus. But this video is about this article, which more or less is setting the stage for everything else that we've been uh, discussing as Christians over the last few generations. The headline is more or less what this article is about. It's just Trump meeting with the three biggest religions on planet Earth. Well, they call them religions, but uh, for those of you that frequent the website, uh, there's a fairly new page on the site that uh, you might want to take a look at because I'm going to be updating this on a regular basis now. It's in the uh, prophecy section, and then go to prophecy of today and sl scroll down to the bottom. It's uh, religious laws are coming as prophesied. If you haven't seen it, perhaps you need to see it. It goes into detail in regards to what the media and the, and the politicians and just the movers and shakers of today's world are doing so as to assure religious laws are going to be part of society. And as I stated for literally decades before and after finding the truth about God's law, wherein I finally became an obedient Christian that truly understands what it means to say Jesus is Lord of my life, I have noticed that the office of president has seen one wicked president after another my entire life. And if you look into a few of the presidents before you were born, you see how long this was happening. It's amazing how the timing of, of it all coincides with the start of the prophesied end times. And so, as the Lord revealed to me and many other students of prophecy over the years, was that the presidents in America will become worse and worse to the point the American people will become so fed up that they will demand a man in office that claims to have religious values comparable to their own. A man that does what the people want. And this is one of the reasons you saw some of the men that were running for office over the last few, the last couple of decades were making comments like uh, abolishing the Federal Reserve. And you know, in other words, they were just going out there seeing what the people wanted so they could play the game to give them what they wanted without actually giving it to them. And so because of the timing of it all, the values of the American people have become so corrupted by now that anyone that echoes their skewed vision of Christianity will be their chosen candidate. And it won't even matter what party he stands in, as the people themselves will leave their present parties just to end the insanity of big government corruption. A lot of the independents, for example, voted for Trump because he was echoing you know, guys like Ross Perot did years ago. And so when that eventually happens, and it just did with Trump, that president is going to showboat as a man for the people and for their churches because by then the foundation needed to enforce the mark of the beast will be well built by Rome, which will then offer them the ability to bring forth religious laws, and that president will be a major cog in the wheel that will help Rome bring about their long prophesied religious law of mandatory Sunday Sabbath. Just 20 days ago, Trump was moved to go ahead on his campaign promise of helping the 501c3 preachers lobby for religious law. I've got a video about that on, on uh, YouTube as well as on John 14, 29. Now, we all know that Bush signed it into law back in March of 2006 that the pastors could lobby for religious law even back then. But as we saw, the pastors were still fearful to do, as is expected with those that have no faith in God and only faith in the money their church members keep giving them. They still feared the Roman Catholic IRS will harass them if they lobbied for laws from their pulpits. And yes, I said Roman Catholic IRS. If you go to uh, RCC Exposed, or wait, I think it's in the uh, corrupt government area here, or uh, government gone bad. Oh yeah, there it is. Government gone bad and go down to here. And it's uh, Roman Catholic IRS. I had that many, many years ago. I put that up there. It's pretty obvious. If, if you go, if you read this, you'll see, yeah, it is a Roman Catholic IRS. And since these pastors, these 501c3 government approved pastors worship the money as prophesied, they're, they, they're not going to step up until that danger of the IRS is removed, even though Bush said it was, but it wasn't officially removed, obviously. And so 20 days ago, well, maybe 21 by the time you see this video posted, but 20 days ago, Trump signed an executive order 
protecting those pastors from IRS harassment. And I did a short video on that one as well. And what this means is all the preachers, pastors, ministers, and priests in America can easily speak of the need for religious laws from their pulpits, just as prophecy predicted they would once they created the image of the beast in Rome. And now, immediately after these 501c3 government-approved pastors got the power to speak and cause the mark of the beast to be enforced, we see Trump meeting with the three largest and most corrupt religious governments on the planet. And yes, I call them governments because all three so-called religious churches he is meeting with are not only considered legit churches by the deceived souls that they lead, they are also globally known to be the governing bodies of those people at the same time. As students of the Bible and its prophetic voice, we knew all along how these things would speed up very near the end. And so they have, in a big way, with the long-expected people's president in the White House. And no, I'm not pro-Hillary either. I didn't vote for either one of them. So that being said, we, as the long-prophesied obedient bride of Christ, need to share present truth with as many as the Lord will send our way each and every day now. They've already set up their foundation. They already have every tool they need now to enforce the mark of the beast. We need to go forth and warn the people now. And then, of course, when we start doing that, they're going to do everything they can to shut us up. But that's not going to be an issue because we were warned about that and the Lord's already set it up to where we can still do the work. So there is precious little time left. And I would not want to be among the many that have buried their talents in the world they love when Jesus finally gets here to see what they have done with that which he has already revealed to them. Thank you for watching. God bless.